Welcome to Observe Dashboards. From the Explore menu in Observe, underneath the Dashboards tab, you'll see dashboards from Observe apps and also custom dashboards from Observe users. Let's create a dashboard together. We'll do so from the top right and click New Dashboard, which will bring us into the new Observe Dashboard Editor. We'll click Add Card where we get several options, and I'll select a data set table so to search for a data set, which will allow me to add a stream of logs to my dashboard. I'll add the container logs data set, and then the data set card is added to my dashboard immediately, from which I can click add card again, and then select a metric visualization, where I can search for a metric related to my container. I'll look at container memory usage, select that, and then it is also added to my dashboard. Now, if I want to edit each of these cards further, I'll select the pencil icon to edit the card. And then when brought into the dashboard card editor, I am focused in on a single card. So to simplify which visualization I am editing. From here, I can title this card. And then I can also make use of the Opal console or various different table controls. So to customize this data set table visualization. However, once I'm finished, I can go up to the top left and go back to the dashboard and see my changes. Next, I'll edit the second card by clicking on the pencil icon again. And here for a metric visualization, I have options to change that visualization and configure it or change the underlying data that is being represented. Now, if I want to go back to editing my logs card, I don't have to go back to the dashboard but I could use the editing card drop down menu to quickly switch between cards. I can also then go back to my dashboard and optionally choose to hide any given card that I don't want to display. I can see an undo option from here in the bottom left, but if I hide this card and go back into the editor mode, I can see in the editing card drop down menu all of my available cards, including hidden ones, which can easily be added back to the dashboard. Once you've finished editing all of your different stages, you can go back to the dashboard and title it as well. And once you're finished displaying the cards in the order that you would like, you can click Save Changes to publish this dashboard. If I leave the editor, I'll see the dashboard, but I could also go back to the Explore menu and under the Dashboards tab, search for my newest dashboard, and then select it from the list. And this concludes an introduction to the new and improved Dashboard Editor in Observe.